Hey folks, what's going on? iTunes 12, and I've been battling an issue. I wasn't able to delete songs completely from my hard drive, filling up my hard drive, having, I don't know, thousands and thousands of songs, and um, having to do that uh, in a very slow, manual way. And I spent a little bit of time researching that. iTunes 12 changed things a little bit. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to reduce the file size uh, that it's taking up on your hard drives. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how to delete duplicates because that's a great idea to do it with. So um, let's look really quickly at playlists. For example, I'm having a playlist here and there's this song here and I want to delete it. Normally I would just hit the delete button and then it would ask me, are you sure you want to remove the selected songs from the list? And I would delete that and it removes it from the playlist. That's great. Uh, sometimes you don't want a certain song in the playlist and you do not wish to delete it entirely from the computer. So we got that. Delete. Um, you can also right click on it and hit um, delete. Right? Delete. Right? And that would delete it, but it would not move it to the trash. Now, if you look at show in Finder and similarly in on a Windows PC, I'll show you where it is in which folder and it sits right there. Now, let me show you this here. We delete it, right? Just I'm just illustrating my point here. I'm deleting it, delete, and it's still here. So a lot of people go in here then and then manually delete it. Let me undo this here. Um, and of course, that's a very, very long way, especially if you're going, I want to delete this, I want to delete this, 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 and we go all across the board. That wouldn't work, right? Okay, and I had a problem. This option wouldn't come up for me. So, and the reason why this option didn't come up for me uh, and the option how to delete it completely would be option, command, delete. And then it says keep file or move the entire file to the trash, right? So um, the reason why it didn't come up was the following reason. We're going to in preferences here. If you go into advanced and um, I had my, I have two drives. I have a media drive, an external hard drive, and I have an internal one. And all of my music was always on the external one and it worked brilliantly, really well. So um, if you look here, it's on my media drive, which is a lot larger, and iTunes would uh, not import into the main drive, just reference to it, the files on the outside. iTunes sees them, plays them back well. Um, the problem is though that my iTunes media folder location was set to um, my account and then on the main computer um, iTunes library right there instead of my music folder on the external. The reason why that is important is iTunes will not let you, iTunes will, let me rephrase it, I, iTunes will not give you the option to move it into the trash if um, that outside folder, that outside hard drive is not the iTunes media folder location. It doesn't matter if iTunes can reference to it and finds the files. It has to be officially announced or give iTunes uh, the privileges, the permissions to manage that. That's pretty much uh, what it comes down to. All right, so this is about it. I hope this is going to help you delete songs and not clutter up your uh, song library and your hard drive. Um, that's it. Out. Thanks for watching.